I don't know how my new sound has been working lately. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this the best I can. <clears throat> healthcare in America. I've already explained how we can get health care. How every person can have health care. And those who have the health care they have can keep the health care they got. But instead, all across America, at town hall meetings, people want to run around and sound and act like this. How can anybody hear your protest or whatever you have to say if this is how you have to do it? How can anybody hear what you got to say? If you have to scream and yell, you cannot get your point across. Now, I've been watching a lot of those World War II films and stuff. And when they had those rallies in Germany, see, the opposition sent people into the crowds to do the exact same shit to stir the pot. Think about it. This is the exact same thing that I saw when I was watching those old clips of the Nazis. The same exact brutal mentality in the crowds. If we're going to be dumb enough to fall for the same thing over and over again, maybe us people who know better need to go find a neutral spot so when the shit goes down, we're ready. Then we can come out of our bunkers and say, you know what? That was a tough four years. Let's forget about what happened. Won't be a 11 year reign like last time. It was a 12 years, I forget. Not important. This is what's going on all over the country because a lot of people think that if there's universal health care, that the American people will be paying for foreigners, aka illegals, to have medical. They're thinking that they're going to lose something by having other people be able to have the same enable right that they do. This is not American. Not American at all. Then they showed a lady earlier with some other protest thing going on. She had a Rosa Parks sign or whatever and a bunch of people jacked her up and told her to leave town. These people in Missouri don't want to see no Rosa Parks or Obama shirts. None of that. Get on out of here. Fear. You keep a bunch of people separate for a reason. Now, all these people in the states where there's not that many minorities up, because they think their hard-earned dollars is paying for um, other people to have health care. Truth is, California is spreading out more money than any other state for the rest of you people out there. So you can do something for me. Thank you. And other than that, that's my take on health care. We can all health have health care, but um, if nobody's letting anybody try, then it doesn't matter. You're going to let somebody's fear keep you from being able to go to the doctor. Or are you having to put your house up or your farm up so grandma can have that transplant so she can die two years later? Whatever the hell you have to go through, which you shouldn't have to go through. Here in California, people are already losing benefits from their benefits. And the rest of the country is about to fall suit. If California itself, the state of California, is the eighth highest grossing income on the planet Earth, what the fuck do you think Missouri make based on the planet Earth? Arkansas. We can go on and on and on and on different states what they make. Please. Some of these people out there think they're the only people alive. They're the only people that count. How can you heckle somebody 
at a town hall meeting. If you won't even let this person speak, if you won't let them get a chance to speak, how can you prove them be wrong? When just your barbaric acts alone is enough for them to cut your asses off. You cannot beat somebody at a game that you set them up to play if you can't play it the way that you expected us to play it. Remember? Oh, you got a new piece to me. You can't be uprising. Now you want to uprise because there's a black president. Same team, different coach, different quarterback, by, by the way. He ain't coaching. He ain't nowhere up in the box calling their play. We got a black quarterback and you're scared we're going to lose the game. You've been ahead in the game your entire existence. And now you're scared because the quarterback is black? You wasn't scared when George sent the troops to Iraq, was you? Senior or junior. He wasn't scared when Clinton sent them boys in there Black Hawk Down style. No, you wasn't scared, was you? You wasn't scared when you sent the boys to Nam either, was you? Nope. Now you're scared. Everything that your people have worked for throughout the course of your history is at stake with this black guy playing quarterback with the United States of America. So what? He want to give everybody health care. You're paying for a war, but you ain't getting no free oil out of it. I said it. What country goes over to another country rich with assets, do what they did, and not control an asset? That's illogical. That doesn't even make any sense on the lowest form of any standard that I've ever known. This is a game of risk. And we are the chess pieces, the pieces on the board, the pawns, the chessers, the checkers, the dominoes, the marble on the Chinese checkers. We are the pieces on the board. So what? Obama wants to try to get people health care. So what? You already can't afford what you got, and you don't have nothing. To believe that somebody can be taxed and you don't have no money is completely stupid. But to enact a law that will take a man's everything from him based on one violation of the law is the law. You can lose everything without Obama giving somebody health care. Period. Farmers can't farm anymore. Obama didn't do that. But you're going to blame me for health care. Clinton tried health care. Didn't get it, did you? Bush didn't try no health care. If he did, it was for a weekend. We're going to get people health care. Think it'd be a great, great, great dandy idea. Monday morning. Fuck them, dick. And then, you know, you want to know about your business. Here's a trivia question for you. Who was the vice president for Dick Cheney? So, in real life, you have to do what you can do. And do what you have to do. So if you want to go protest Obama at every town hall meeting, that's probably why George Bush didn't do any. So one thing Obama said that he did keep true, he was going to let the American people voice their opinion. And right or wrong, he should just do it anyway because all the other presidents just do it. At least he's given us that much to talk back. That's one hell of a step more for the people of the United States of America and one step back for the tyrants who keep their foot on our necks. Till next time, Obama.